Hey guys, so I'm back with another Halloween tutorial. So I was trying to do something that I thought was really kind of clever but last minute and easy. So I was just kind of strolling through Pinterest and I found this such a cute, such a cute last minute idea and the idea is French kiss. So what, what exactly is a French kiss besides kissing with tongue? Well, what you do is you take a striped shirt and a beret, French, and then you take kiss aka the rock band from the 70s with the face paint and your French kiss. So I thought it was such an easy idea. If you have white and black makeup, um, you can use black eyeliner, um, white. If you don't have white, you can use, um, go to the Halloween store and just get a white face paint. That's all you need. And maybe like a black eyeliner. and a, You can totally do it though with things that you have. So I'm going to use those um, white and black pro paint from Graftobian. It's water activated. Um, as well as a black pencil, a black liquid lipstick, and again, you could probably do this whole thing with liner, um, like gel liner or pencil, And but you do need a white base, like a good white base, so you might want to run to the Halloween store really quickly to pick that up. If you have a striped shirt, go ahead and do that. Um, a black hat, I actually ordered a beret from Amazon really quick, and it's one of those things that's not going to be sold out because it's not really a Halloween item, so hopefully you'll be able to find this really quickly, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to mark out the shape for my kiss and I'm going to do Jean Simmons who's kind of like the more famous look. And if, crazily enough I did a kiss um, as a Halloween makeup so long ago like maybe 10, 12, 13 years ago um, and it was like my first Halloween post on my blog Halloween makeup post. So it's a throwback here. Alright so what I'm going to do is make the outline of um, the kiss. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect just you got to get the idea. So I'm taking a white pencil and I'm going to start by doing, so I guess this is kind of like the widow's peak but very deep. So I'm using white because um, it'll be easier to kind of cover up the lines. And then I'm going to do the different points. So I'm going to go ahead and do this a line down this, my nose. And luckily, like I said, this is easy to erase with your finger if you make a mistake. And then I'm going to do a point right here. So you have one point, you have a second point here, a third point, and a fourth point. So I'm just going to make the little dot so it will be symmetrical. So essentially you just kind of meet each point and you kind of come back down, meet each point, down, up. See that one is a little bit crooked so I'm going to make it straighter again. Down, up. So, let's see. Something's going on this side. Okay. So, and then all you have to do is finish this down here. And it kind of goes here. Okay, so that's the beginning of kind of like the bat wings. And then you're going to make another little guy on the side, another little wing on the side. And then I'm going to go ahead and start here because it's going to get tricky again. So I'm just going to go halfway to the midpoint of my eye. And then I'm going to do another bat wing. And then go up here. And then one more bat wing. And connect it here one more bat wing and connect it. So the shapes will are is kind of there and you can fix it. You just want a general outline to follow. So everything with that's within the white is pretty much black and then the rest of the face is all white and then you have a black lipstick. So let's go ahead and fill this in. The first thing I'm going to do is take my white and go around the areas I want to be white. It's easier to do the light color first before the dark color. So I'm going to water activate this by doing a spray bottle with water and I'm going to take a foundation, well actually this is a body painting brush, but you can take a foundation brush or a sponge and activate it so it's nice and creamy. You want it to be super creamy because you want this to be nice and opaque. So the white body paint takes a little bit more activation just to kind of get it nice and good. You don't want it to be too watery or else it won't be opaque enough and you don't want it to be too dry because then it won't spread. Alright, let's go ahead and do this white. Okay. 
Okay, so you have the basic wipe down. And the cool thing about this is that if you mess up, you can just wipe it away and take a wet wipe and just kind of clean up the lines if you want. But the reason why I wasn't so worried about it being perfect is because I'm going to go back over it. And really, I'm going to get the precision with the black. And everything that's left is going to be black and then the lips. So let's go ahead and move to the black. I'm going to use now an angle brush because it's going to help me get kind of like the lines and the sharp edges. Okay, so we have the basic outline done. Now we have to kind of clean up around the black. So but luckily it's just paint, so you can just like go back over it. But first I'm going to line the inside of my rims of my eyes because you want this completely blacked out. Okay, now I'm gonna cheat and take my black pencil because it's a little bit easier to use this than a brush and sharpen up the points. And then just to kind of top it off, I'm going to use my Offer Cosmetics, the Bronx Liquid Lipstick, which is a black liquid lipstick. This will make it really last. Okay, so that's the face paint. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw on my hat. I'm going to keep my hair just like this in a ponytail to the side. Throw on my hat. This is a beret. So it's got the little, little thing on the top. Looks like a little beret. And we'll throw this on. Okay. And then I have my striped shirt on underneath my robe. I didn't want to get makeup on it. And this is your French kiss. So it's like very simple. It's funny, you know, French kiss, ha ha ha. So the key is black and white paint or black and white makeup, whatever you have, a um, beret and a black and white striped shirt. And I would just wear this with like black pants and flats and call it a day. So I hope you guys like this last minute Halloween makeup tutorial. Have fun with it. If you end up doing it, tag me at Makeup by Ren Ren or hashtag Makeup by Ren Ren on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And I will have a list of all the products I use. Check out MakeupByRenRen.com for a full post with pictures and links to everything. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great Halloween. Ciao, Bellas.